back in front of the fans? How pleased are you to have them there for this game? Well, of course. I mean, you know, it's, you're always uh, pleased to have your, your fans um, behind you, whether it's home or away. So, um, yeah, that has, uh, that has um, a good bearing on tomorrow night's game that they can come along and, and watch the team. So hopefully we can put on a good show for them. It's another quick turnaround, isn't it? And the weather's not been brilliant. So what kind of things have you been able to work on with the lads? Um, exactly the same, really, just crammed in a short space of time. Um, the weather wasn't too clever this morning, but um, we've managed to get around it. Obviously, there was a fair bit of work to do um, in a meeting room this morning because we always like to do a debrief on, on the game we've just had. So um, the meeting was obviously a lot longer. When you've got that quick turnaround, meeting was a lot longer. Obviously, with disruption with the weather this morning, that didn't... That didn't help, but we've managed to um, get to where we want to get to anyway. The form has been really good of late. How pleased are you with what you've been seeing recently? Yeah, very pleased. As I said on Saturday, you know, and it was it was interesting really because nine out of ten after a game, you know, what you feel um, is predominantly right about your team. And I was quite buoyed by us on Saturday, even though we ended up drawing a game. And, and we'd won the other games we'd had on the road. So, yeah, I mean, I thought that there was plenty of positives to come out of, of Saturday's game. And um, we've shown that back to the players this morning. Um, certainly the good bits uh, and areas to improve, which we will, we will always do those. Because I think it's, it's important that we know the areas that we can improve on, especially if we've, we've worked on them on the training ground then I, I would still expect us to improve on them come match day. But, you know, you've obviously got the opposition to take into consideration that may have scouted you and may have looked at your team and tried to stop what you're doing. So, yeah, all in all, it's been, um, it's been a real busy, hectic turnaround. Um, but that's what it is at this time of Christmas. Um, you know, you don't get me many breaks in and around Christmas, so you just have to get your head down and get the work done, really. <clears throat> looking at the next opposition that's Blackpool and they're in good form as well yeah. how closely do you look at maybe form in the opposition or is it not too much of a consideration no no I would always look at form I would look at perhaps form more than I would look at the league table um, because that's what you're playing at this moment in time you're playing form so we know that um, you know Blackpool are going to be offering up a good challenge to us on uh, on Tuesday night, but we want also want to offer a good challenge to them too. And their manager, obviously a uh, highly regarded coach who was previously at Liverpool. Mm. What kind of football and what style does he like to implement? Both, I think. Both styles. I don't think there's any one one style that you can pick out, but I think that that is, as I've said before, your players have got to have a clear idea not a clear identity because if you've got a clear identity you're easy to play against so um, I think they can do a bit of both and um, I don't actually know him I'll, I'll meet him tomorrow night I know Colin Calderwood very well who's been up there and an assisting him um, but I don't know Neil but I know that I'll meet him tomorrow night I'm looking forward to it How are the lads looking ahead of this one? Is there any fresh concerns? No, no we're, uh, we're, all, we're all good we're looking uh, we're looking good so um Hopefully it, hopefully it stays that way. Thank you. Pleasure.